Welcome to the Keon Sports Production of High School Girls Basketball. Tonight, Avon Lake travels to North Ridgeville High School. And it's brought to you by Dave's Golden Chair Barbershop. Dave's Golden Chair Barbershop has been your trusty barber for nearly a century of great haircuts. With affordable prices and excellent customer service, there's no better place to get your talk. Located at 26915 Center Ridge Road in West Lake. Hey, more guns at Eagle fans, former NFL player and Eagle alumni, Matt Rotheram, wants to see you at the Pulp North Homestead. This delicious and healthy meal phenomenon is exactly what North Homestead needed, from wraps to bowls to smoothies and everything in between. This is the perfect healthy option for the person on the go. Stop in and see it for yourself at 267-650 Ring Road in North Homestead. The store is at the corner of Porter and Lorraine, right around the block from North Homestead High School. Stop in for the game this week. Also, Spins Bowl. Spins Bowl has 36 lanes. Excuse me. Spins Bowl has 36 lanes, a large Redemption Arcade with a full bar and restaurant. And it's truly a good time for the whole family, as there's something for everyone, young and old. Swing by their website to see more info at spinsbowl.com. Hinkley Roofing is our tip-off sponsor and play the game sponsor tonight. At Hinkley, they're your first choice for commercial or residential roofing needs. This family-run company has been around for 50 years, and again, is your first choice. They use only Tony's Roofing System. Find them online at HinkleyRoofing.com or call them at 330-273-2979. Mention Keon Sports for 10% off your services. Also, Jenny's Popcorn. You can find their flavors anywhere popcorn is sold, including Giant Little Mark. Visit them online at Jenny'sPopcorn.com or in person at 38727 Taylor Parkway in North Ridgeville. And have it with some butter, cheese, caramel, and everything in between at this popcorn lover's paradise. Our final pregame sponsor tonight, Climate Tech Inc. For 40 years, family owned and operated Climate Tech has been the premier company for all of your HVAC services. For both residential and commercial, they have it covered. They offer free estimates on equipment replacement and 24-hour emergency service. Visit them today at climate-tech.com. All right, fans, welcome back. It is time. It is North Ridgeville defending their Ranger Nation today. They were beat by Avon Lake a few months, well, about a month ago. Avon Lake fell behind early in that game, came back to win, and I'll tell you what, this Avon Lake team has been red hot ever since. Uh, very well coached team. They play as a unit, and tonight is a big time challenge if they could go on the road and play for the season sweep of the Rangers. The Shore Gals, a lot of talent out there. I believe I see Izzy Polinko, I do, versus Summerfield, Claire Springer, and I believe Courtney Borland, number 22. Yes, sir, it is. And that is your starting five for the Shore Gals. Meanwhile, the Rangers, it's going to be Kat Krebda, Grace Kingery, Brooke Live, Maddie Elridge, and Peyton Pell Cisco. The Rangers are coached by Amy Esser. And the story is by Paul Apple. Rangers going from left to right on that radio dial. Here comes the tip-off. It goes the way of the Rangers, and this is how we're going to start. All right, Rangers have it. Again, right to left on the radio dial. All white unis with the blue trim, blue numerals. Elridge to Lyme on the outside there. Far side, and it's knocked out of bounds, and they're going to say Shoregale ball. Shoregale is going from right to left. And I'll say this right from the rip hair, in my opinion, some of the nicest jerseys in the SWC. I love that maroon and gold uh, color scheme. Absolutely one of my favorites. All right, here we go. Polinko has it top of the key now. Polinko looking over the defense. Swings it near side to Summerfield. Summerfield back to Polinko. Polinko back to Summerfield. Underneath the Springer on the box. Springer looking to move with it. Back out to Summerfield. Here comes Summerfield. Swings it to Bondar. Bondar, one to three. Won't take it. Back to Polinko. Inside they go to Springer. Nope, back outside to Marissa. Here comes Summerfield. Back to Polinko. Polinko back to Summerfield. Inside the board. Beautiful pass. Clear Springer. Finds her for two. A lot of passing, but they found the right girl at the right time. Now 2 nothing. Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee here in North Ridgeville, Ohio. Here's Grace Kingery driving. Kicks it back to Cat. Cat Crowder now inside the box. Swings it far side to Grace. Kingery shoots up on a 15-footer, no good. It's up, rebound, Borland. 
Portland out to Summerfield. All right, Avon Lake with the ball and the lead. Here's Marissa. She's going to get over to Borland. Borland's going to drive, but knocked away. Loose ball scamper. Good job there, Izzy Polinko. Polinko has it. Top of the key for the Shore Gals. Swings it near side us to Summerfield. Inside, back to Borland. Little give and go. No good. Outside, knocked out of bounds on Springer. Rangers take over. Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee celebrating the birthday today. The big 4-1. Alright, here it is. North Ridgeville left to right. Pell Cisco up top looking over that defense. Finds Brooke Lime near side dust. Lime's gonna drive up with it. It's good and the foul! Nice little move there, Brooke Lime. And these foul shots by Brooke Lime are brought to you by Helene Kia. Looking for a new used car? Check out our guy, James McConville of Helene Kia in North Homestead on Lorraine Road. Jim's a trusted member of the auto community for over 20 years and will treat you right no matter your car buying need. Again, this foul shot is brought to you by Helene Kia. The shot is up. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Summerfield. Here comes Summerfield now, looking over the defense. Marissa Summerfield, a three-year starter. Three ball, Polico! No good. Rebound, Krebda over Kingery. All right, Rangers have it. The old full court, Maddie Elridge. Elridge chucks up the three. It is no good. Rebound, Summerfield. All right, we're at two apiece here as Brookline missed that foul shot. Couldn't complete the end one, but still two apiece. Plinko, Summerfield near side to us. Summerfield's going to drive. Marissa kicks. Bowling for three. No good. Rebound, Shore Gals. Well, can't really say that just yet. Now they wrangle it down. There's Summerfield on the rebound. And they're going to say she stepped out of bounds, I believe. Yes. All right, checking back in now for the Rangers, Reina Balderez. Checking out, Elridge. All right, Brooke Line, Peyton Pelsisco. Look over the defense here. Peyton takes it past the half court line. A little hop step there for a split second. In the crowd, in the Kingery. Kingery draws the double. Pelsisco, Reina for three. Got it. Reina Balderez, 5-2, to two, and the feisty freshman chucks one up. Vince McKee with you here, key on sports. Izzy Palenko, left-hand dribble. Near side to us is Bondar. Bondar's going to drive. Bondar back to Palenko. Here comes Palenko on the drive. She kicks. I can't see because the referee's standing there. It's Summerfield. Oh, over to Grace Kingery. Here comes Grace with it. Wants to go full court. And we got a pretty heated up first four minutes in this one. Balderez. Oh, that's going to launch another one. There's a three by Balderas. No good. Rebound. Kingery knocked out of bounds. No, Cat Crump is there. I stand corrected. What do you think about that rebound, Maggie? Amazing. Pretty impressive? Yeah. That's some excellent color commentary out of Maggie McKee today. All right, here's Izzy Polinko. She has it. Uses her right hand, dribbles out. There's Claire Springer, though. Over to Summerfield, near side to us. And Summerfield just gets better every time we see her. Left hand dribble by Summerfield. She draws a triple team. Again, referee in the wrong place. Summerfield has it again. Over to Borland. Back inside to Bondar. Excellent passing by the Shore Gals. Polinko up with a good runner there. Is he Polinko? Five to four. I thought it was. Well, seven to four, I guess. I missed a bucket. All right, 407. We're going to take this time out with them. And fans, this next section of the game is brought to you by the West Side Fleet. If you have a wife like mine who wants to spend you into an unbelievable debt, have her swing by the West Side Flea. And fans, let me tell you, she'll be there for hours. Over 50 vendors every time they do it. Check it out. West Side Flea on Facebook for all, everything they have to offer. Also, be a sweetie candy company. Maggie, do you like being a sweetie? Yes. Oh, I sure do as well. They're the world's most famous candy company right here in our own backyard. BA Sweetie is located at 6770 Brook Park Road in Cleveland. It's a candy lover's paradise. Maggie, when we go to BA Sweetie, what do you like to buy? Everything. Everything? All right, that sounds good. 7 4 now. We resume the game. Payton Pell Cisco left to right, as we said on that dial. Here's Reina Balderas inside the Kingery on the elbow. Kingery going to drive. Good spin move by Kingery. Nice looking shot, no good. Rebound Springer. And as I look over, I believe we have a sub in for Avon Lake. We'll get you that name in a second, but it looks like Leah Hickoff, number 14. All right, here's Polinko, near side to us. Swings over to 33. That's Bree Jones. Jones back over to Polinko. And Polinko back over to Jones. 
to Summerfield. I believe Bree Jones is a freshman too. I gotta look that up in a second. All right, here's Springer. Springer gonna drive it in. Good look there for Claire. She'll draw the foul on Cat. All right, fans, to catch you up, Leah Hickoff in the game now. As we said, she's a senior, and I believe Bree Jones is a freshman. I can't find her name on the roster here. No, I'm wrong. She's a sophomore. All right. Springer at the line for two. You're listening to KeonSports.com. Springer up with it for a shot good. <laughs> 7 to 5, 325 to go here in the first. And just as we expected, this game off to a pretty hot start. These two teams are extremely evenly matched. Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee today. Shot is up. It is no good. In and out. Rebound Kingery. Now 7 to 5, 320 to go. Kingery has it. Looking at the defense wearing the pink shoes today for the first time this season. Good behind the back move there by Kingery. She's got Plink all over, swings the Balderas, but she gets stuffed. And this is a rebound for the Shore Gals. That is Jane Ritt. And guys, the Shore Gals uh, sub a lot of girls as we've seen so far this season. So we will try to stay on it the best we can for you. All right, here comes Plinko, right hand dribble. She's gonna drive, kicks it to Springer. Good move there. And it's gonna be a foul, I believe, on the floor. Let's see. Shooting, Shooting. okay. Indeed. And thank you, Zach, for the correction there. And, and fans, he will be the MVP of this broadcast. I can guarantee you now. All right, foul shot again here for Claire Springer. It's up. It is front iron, no good. These foul shots are brought to you by TNT Construction, your top choice for residential, commercial, industrial, and business remodeling and repair. TNT Construction, they provide everything you need, home or office. Look them up, tntcleveland.com. Springer up with it, second shot, looks good, and it is. All right. Got ourselves a ball game, as we expected. Fans, you hear us talk about sponsors, email me, Vince McKee, CoachVin14 at Yahoo.com. Over 4 million impressions last year in 2022 for Keon Sports. If you have a small business, do not go anywhere else but Keon Sports. Stolen away by the Sword Gals. They're going to look to run it out here. That is Miller. It's up, it's good. And a lazy pass intercepted and taken the distance by Olivia Miller, the feisty freshman for the Shore Gals. Good job now, Avon Lake out in front, eight to seven as Miller goes to the line. Olivia Miller, the freshman Shore Gal. It's up, it is good. And it is now nine to seven, 237 on the clock here in the first. Here's Reyna Balderas looking over that defense again is Balderas. The Rangers need to get something going on offense here. Inside to Kingery. From the elbow, she's going to back her way in. Bit of a collision, though, as the Rangers set a pick on their own player there. All right, looking for Bowman underneath. Back to Kingery. No good. CC fights for the rebound, doesn't get it. Wrangle up. That's Jane Ritt again. Keep your eye on her. Inside come the Shore Gals. Pickoff. Back to Polinko. Inside they go. That's Bree Jones. Jones up with it. Yeah, no! Woo. And that looked good. In and out. So we're going to line for two. Checking back in, Peyton Palacisco, and I believe Kat Crumdo. We'll know in a second when they stand up, but I'm pretty sure that's Peyton and Bree, or Kat. And then we have Marissa coming in for the Shore Gals. All right, at the line here, Bree Jones. It's up. In and out, no good. Checking in is Summerfield, Olivia Tobin, and somebody will be checking in for the shooter, so she's going to sit tight. 9-7, to seven, Shore Gales lead it. You're listening to Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee. Bree Jones, up, oh, no good. Both shots were right on line, just did not fall. 1.55 to go here in the first. 9-7, to seven, Rangers with the ball going from left to right on that dial. Here's Grace Kingery, left side dribble, over to Maddie Eldridge. She'll go around the top of the key. She'll kick it to Schultz, inside the Cat. And the Rangers cannot buy a bucket as Cat was stripped away. Well, let's see where they call this one. I believe they're going to say it's off Avon Lake, and it was. Those ones are always tough near that hoop. Peyton goes deep there to Grace. She got Summerfield draped on her. Good kick there. Nice look by Grace Kingery. That's a D1 talent right there. Nine apiece. 
Here's Borland. Borland's going to drive and kick. Out to Miller, and I believe it is going to be a charge, I want to say. Yep. It is. All right, Courtney Borland assessed with a foul. 9-9, nine to nine, 128 to go here in the first. Head coach North Ridgeville, Amy Esser, calls in the play. And here is Peyton Palacisco taking it up. About to check in also for the Rangers number three, Gabby Thibodeau at the box. Here's Schultz. Schultz now inside the cover. Great job there by Borland. Creates another turnover. She swings it, and this might be a turnover. Nope, good job wrangling up by Miller. Over to the Shore Girls. Shore Girls keep it. Here's Hickoff. Hickoff going to dribble it in. Gets trapped, tries to throw it away, and she does. Oh, Paul Sisko got me. Well, she got hit. That should have been a foul, but I'm not a referee. All right, here's Grace Kingery. Kingery looking to drive. Good pick there by Crud, though. She has it if she wants it. No good. Rebound off Miller's shoulder. Kingery gets it. That should get in, and it does. All right, now 11 to 9. And, folks, I can tell you right now, this game's going to be really good. Here's Summerfield looking over that defense. 37 seconds. They have plenty of time here. Summerfield dribbles it around, still dribbling, finds Borland. Borland gets crowded to leave her feet, takes her on the break, no good. Rebound, I believe, yep, Summerfield. Summerfield over to Miller. Miller going to drive, here comes Miller. No good, rebound, Kingery, 20 seconds to go. 11-9, Rangers, they don't want to hold for the last shot, they want to run, go! Cut crowded up with it, no good. Show the line for two. These foul shots by Cat. Craigbell brought to you by Dick Esser Plumbing. Get exceptional plumbing repairs and installations for your commercial property from the experienced professionals at Dick Esser Plumbing and Heating, Inc. As Craigbell fires it up, it is no good. They provide honest services and quality workmanship. You can learn more about them today at dickesserplumbing.com. All right, fans, as I always say, we are in desperate need of sponsors, and wouldn't you believe it, we don't have a single one from North Original or Avon Lake. That's a crime. Let's fix that. Email me, Vince McKee, at coachvin14 at yahoo.com. Here's Krebda. It's up. It's good. All right, last shot of the quarter coming up now. Rangers lead it 12-9. Here's Summerfield, nine seconds to go. Near side us to Bondar. Bondar back to 24, who chucks it up. No good. I believe that's Tobin. It is. Rebound to Bondar. She throws it up. No good. That's the quarter. We'll be right back with the second quarter. You're listening to Keon Sports. Uh, we're back. <laughs> Second half. All right, what am I saying? Second quarter. All right, here we go. Uh, Plinko inside to Springer. Back to Plinko. Back to Summerfield for three to tie the game. Nope. Rebound Eldridge. And really, the crowd got really quiet there during a the timeout. Crab down the rebound, I believe. It's going to be a foul on Borland or a jump. They're going to call a jump. Yep, jump ball it is. And that possession arrow is staying with North Ridgeville. How's that PB and G treating you there, Mags? Good? All right. Pell Cisco left it right on that dial. Inside to Brooke. Turned away. Lime turns it over to Borland. And Courtney Borland of the Shore Gals has at least three turnovers today caused on defense. Good job out of her. Here's Bryn Bondar. Dribbles it in. Nope. Throws it our way. Thought that one was coming our way there, Bean. He's looking to find Summerfield and just kind of airmailed it. All right, 12 to 9. I know. Were you about to catch that one? All right, Maddie Illridge. Inbounds pass. All right, Grace Kingery has it. Over to Pell Cisco. Pell Cisco kicks it to Elridge for three. Go! Drainage! Three ball there by Eldridge. Now 15 to 9. Here comes Summerfield and the Shore Gals. Shore Gals near side us, it's Bondar. Bondar back to Summerfield. Over to Plinko far side. Just kind of camping out at that three point line. Summerfield inside to Springer. Man, is she tall. Springer has it, kicks it over to Plinko. Plinko for three, way deep. Off the top, that actually should have been out of bounds, but whatever. All right, Francisco has it, I, right? Off the top, I thought that was out of bounds. Who cares? Okay, Francisco <laughs> has it. Over to Kingery. Here comes Kingery. She's going to drive right-handed. Kicks it back herself, though. Sporting the pink shoes. Shot up with it. No good. Wants the foul. There, and they're going to get it. Kingery with her own rebound went back up and drew the foul. 
Coach Chester calling over Payton Palsisco and Brooke Lime here during the foul shots by Grace Kingery. Vince McKee with you at KeyOnSports.com today. Grace Kingery at the line for two. Shot is up. It is no good. Score remains 15-9, 6-21. Grace Kingery before today's game honored for scoring her 1,000 point as a Ranger. And breaking the all-time three-point record. There's Kingery on the second shot. Up, oh, no good. Rebound, Shore Gales. All right, foul check here. Both teams with four fouls in the first quarter. First half. Summerfield swings it over to Bondar. Bondar near side to us. Back to Summerfield. Inside, referee standing right there again. Worst possible place. There's Springer. Can't see when that guy stands right there. Sorry, fans. Unless I grow... Once I grow two feet at halftime, this, this might happen a couple times tonight. All right, Summerfield looking over the defense as I was knocked out of bounds on Ridgeville. Five seconds there, almost. Woo. That was close. All right, Polinko back over to Summerfield. Summerfield back to Polinko, taking their time inside the Springer. That's been working for them. But they go to Summerfield who tried to drive, then she turns it over. Here's Pelsisco. Rangers have numbers. To live for two. No good. Rebound Kingery. She gets fouled. No call. It's up. It's good. Now, the Rangers with their biggest lead of the game. And I'll tell you what, the scoreboard really doesn't tell the story of this game. It seems a lot closer than this eight-point differential. All right. Rin Bondar near side to us. Bondar looking over that defense. Bondar back to Summerfield. Summerfield near side to Bondar. Summerfield back again up top. And Borland, beautiful pass again by Borland to Springer. Misses a wide open shot, though she had it. Out of bounds. Whoa. They're going to stay out on the Rangers. It will stick with the Shore Gales. Checking back in. Gabby Thibodeau for the Rangers. Checking out Brookline. Rangers out in front. Also checking out Pell Cisco. So Rangers going awfully young here. Three sophomores, a junior, and a senior. Knocked out of bounds. Actually, I'm wrong about that because Reina's a freshman. Yep. Reina Baldera is the freshman out there as well. Kind of wearing that Allen Iverson sleeve that he used to wear on his arm on her leg. 17-9, 5-19 to go here in the second quarter. Good little ball game. Here's Summerfield on the drive. She gets wrapped up, and it's going to be a foul. See who they call it on. 24, Cat Carvedo. Checking back in now. That is C.C. Bowman for the Rangers. Checking out Carvedo. And Cat Carvedo went two. I'm going to check on in a second here. 24 Rangers. How many fouls? Krebda, too? Yes. Okay, thank you. Krebda with her second. Bondar, Summerfield for three! No good. Knocked away by Miller. Back to Summerfield, and Miller seems to be everywhere. That kid can play number 25. All right, over to Bondar. Bondar now. She's going to drive it in. It's up. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Rebound, Eldridge. Here's Maddie. Cross the timeline. They want to run. Balderas looked at the three. No good. She will pass it instead to Kinger. He shows mind chucking one up. No good, but a rebound by Eldridge. Good job by Maddie. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Whew. And this should be San Jose. It does. And I'm going to the old NXT water bottle here. Checking in for the Rangers. Kaylee Schultz back into the ball game. We have ourselves a 17-9 game. 4.43 to go here in the first half. Underneath the hoop, the Rangers have it. Inbounds pass, Balderas throws it away. Turnover. No, whoa! Good job by Bowman to chase that down. I thought for sure it was out of bounds. Here's Thibodeau. Gabby Thibodeau for three. No good. This should be rebound, rebounded by the Shore Gals, but they knock it right back to Balderas. Rangers have it. They're like a cat with nine lives on this possession. Here's Schultz. Over to Bowman. Bowman, head pump. Inside. This should be a turnover. And a, nope. It's a jump ball, I believe. Yes. And this should be Shore Gals. It is. Well, the Rangers were playing with fire that entire possession. This one sloppy play after another finally came back to bite them. You're listening to Keon Sports. Vince McKee here with you. All right, Summerfield with Maggie McKee on color. Here's Marissa Summerfield over to Polinko. Polinko's going to drive right-handed, kicks it out. It's Tobin. Tobin on the drive. Up. Good. And Olivia Tobin ends that scoring drought. Went four-plus minutes there for the Shore Gals. Without any points. She ends that. Balderas near side us, and they throw it away again. Rangers shooting themselves in the foot right now. Over to Tobin. Tobin on the possession here. They're going to run it down. Polinko. Miller. 
Checking back in will be Paul Sisko to try to settle down this offense right now for the Rangers. Here's Claire Springer on the drive. She wanted to step out of bounds though. Yep. So Springer steps out. In comes Paul Sisko. Fans listening out there, we want to remind you, any small companies in Avon Lake or North Ridgeville mention this broadcast, get 50% off your sponsorship for 2023. Checking back in, Brooke Lyme at the next buzzer. All right, here's Paul Sisko, left to right on that radio dial. Was looking for a timeout. Yep, there it is. All right, timeout call. We'll be right back. You're listening to Keon Sports, Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee. We'll be back. We're back, Keon Sports. Vince McKee with you here. Payton Bell Cisco, top of the key as the Rangers up 17 to 11. 324 to go in this quarter. Second quarter it is. All right, Chris Kingery with the now. Kingery gonna back in on Tobin. Palinko. It's up, no good. But Kingery drew a foul. Hey. Vince McKee alongside and Maggie McKee. Coach Vin14 at yahoo.com for those sponsorship leads. King Reeves' first shot is up. It is good. 18 to 11 now. Rangers extend on that lead. Again, fans, any small businesses in North Ridgeville or Avon Lake get 50% off this month only. Here's Kingery. It is up. It is no good. Knocked out of bounds. Woo! Okay. Stays with the Rangers, I guess. Out of bounds. And North Ridgeville might have caught a break there. All right, 18 11. 314 to go in the second quarter. All right, their side us is Balderas. Balderas kind of drives. She got Tobin on her. Shorgal's playing some really good defense tonight. Balderas over to Lime. Lime looking to drive it in. She gets trapped in the corner. Three by Balderas. No good. Rebound. Tip it out. No. Bree Jones. So Bree Jones had other plans. All right, Bree has it now. She's going to kick it out here. Miller to Summerfield. And inside they go to Miller. Nice shot, but no good. Little contact there, no call. And Balderas hits the deck. That's going to be a call. Checking back in now will be Maddie Eldridge, number one for the Rangers. And we'll see who sticks in. All right, Thibodeau going to come out. And Balderas will stick in the game after that bit of a collision there. Looking up at the big board. Six fouls now on Avon Lake. One away from that bonus. All right, over to Balderas. Balderas head pumps again. She's going to drive it in, kicks it back out to Pell Cisco. Here's Pell Cisco looking over that defense. Back to Balderas. Over to Eldridge. Eldridge on the drive. Out of bounds on Bree Jones with the Story Hills. And this one will stay with the Rangers. Checking back in now, Summerfield. No, Jane Ritt. Tell you what, Jane Ritt and Marissa Summerfield look like they could be cousins. <laughs> All right, here's Balderas. Over to Grace Kingery. Fire side again. Now Kingery's going to try to drive. Chuck's a long three. That's yes, good! Drainage! So Grace Kingery connects. And now for the first time all game, North Ridgeville leads by double digits. Here's Polinko on the drive. Draws the foul on Peyton. All right, 21-11, 2-13. Show the line for the deuce. And Grace Kingery with 10 points here in the first half for the Rangers. Couple of threes, and as we told you about this pregame, she broke the all-time three-point record. Maggie and myself were there for that one. Nine three balls against Padua at the tail tail end of December. Plinko up with it. It is good. Easy Plinko checking back in. Claire Springer. And Brooke Lime checking out Bree Jones for the Shore Gals. I had the referee having some small talk between the foul shots with Plinko. Now he decides to give her the ball. 21 12, 2 13 to go. It's up, no good. Didn't take a dribble any time at all there on AZ. All right, 21 12. Here is Pell Cisco. Pell Cisco over the timeline. Rangers still up by nine here. Looking to extend on the lead. A lot of minutes tonight for that freshman, Valderez. Here's Lime on the drive. It's up, no good, but draws another foul. My goodness. I'm waiting to see the number on this one. Uh, 44. Yep, that is on Claire Springer. All right, 21-12, 1.57 to go. 
Brook Lime, and it's going to be the bonus the rest of the way for both these teams here in the first. Keeping that scorekeeper busy for Avon Lake, he's going to need to ask for a raise. All right, Brook Lime says yes. Brook Lime, it's up, it's good. He's trying to put his kids through college, come on. All right, Brook Lime, it's up, it is good. Lime nails them both, 23 12, 11 points, biggest lead of the first half now for the Rangers. And this game seems very evenly matched. Just the, the short girls have gone cold. All right. Miller over to, I believe, Plinko. Yep, it's Izzy. Kicks it back out. They're going to reset up shop here. Near side to us, short girls. It's Bondar to the top. Swings over to Plinko. She's going to settle down. That's Jane right out there as well, 23. They're going with Ritt, Miller, Plinko, Springer, and Bondar. Plinko, far side, goes in that right from the foul line. Good shot by Izzy, connects. Great job there, Izzy Polinko. Now 23, 14, nine points, 115 to go. Here's Grace Kingery. Kingery looking over that defense. Good high screen there by Eldridge. Nope, foul. It's a moving screen by Eldridge, I jinxed it. I said it was a good screen, but again, that's why I'm not ref. All right, 23-14, 108 to go. How was the PB&J, Mags? Excellent. That food review brought to you by Maggie McKee and all of our fine sponsors. Was it crunchy peanut butter or smooth? Smooth? All right. All right, here's Polinko over the timeline. Right hand back to Bondar, swings it cross court to Summerfield. Summerfield, top of the key. She's going to drive in. She has it if she wants it. No, beautiful pass. Bonda for three, no good. Springer with the rebound. Ball will stay with the Shore Gales, and that was a tremendous pass by Summerfield to find the wide open Bondar. Ball still with the Shore Gales. Jane Ritt over to Bondar, far side, top of the key. Again, clear Springer. Springer's gonna drive, knocked away. Good job there. Here's Brooke Lyme. Should be able to draw a foul here. Nope. Shot is up, no good. Oh man, Rangers blew that one. Off the fingertips of Kingery. Now there's a loose ball scamper. Here's Summerfield. Paul Cisco goes flying. Summerfield up with two, and I, ooh, yikes. I'll tell you what, Shore Girls can't buy a shot right now. This game could very, very easily be tied. A lot of in and outs on Avon Lake. Here's Keenery. Six seconds to go, five seconds. Here comes the shot at the buzzer. There it is, three. Nails it! Three! As we go to the buzzer. 26, 14, at the half. You're listening to Keon Sports. All right, fans, as we begin the second half of action, again, want to throw it out there for you. We are solely dependent on sponsorship. That is, small businesses out there. You get the 30 second reads, but then during high school footballs, we're really stepping up with the videos. Kingery for a long two there, no good. Rebound Krebda hits the deck. That should be a travel, it is. Then you get the pass off soon enough. But again, fans, just to finish this point very quickly. It is not just the communities of Avon Lake and North Ridgeville that hear this game. Basketball fans everywhere who enjoy high school basketball click into these games. So when you have a small business, you're advertising to everybody. And I want you to take that into account. Plus, my prices are a million times cheaper than anybody else's. Trust me, you'd be shocked. CoachFin14 at Yahoo.com. Please reach out. I'm trying to avoid those paywalls. All right, here we go. Avon Lake has it underneath the Springer. It's up. It's good. Clear Springer. Now 26-16. As Rangers were able to extend that lead past double digits to 12 points to end the half. Eldridge on the drive. No good. But drew a foul, I believe, on Springer. Let's see who they call it on. Let's see if he throws up the double fours here in a second. He does. It's on Springer. And Eldridge to the line. And Vince McKee here with you at KeonSports.com. <coughs> What's up? That's good. And North Ridgeville missed five foul shots in that first half. Kind of sent them back a little bit. Needs to convert at the line. Misses that one. So she splits the deuce. 27-16. Summerfield, top of the king, swings over to Bondar. Bondar back to Polinko. Over to Summerfield, the Bondar. Well, they need Springer inside the Borland. They made that work for him a couple times in the first half. 
But back up top to Polingo as this trap's kind of stalled for a second. Now back to Summerfield on the drive. Nope. Bondar. Nah, she finds Borland to Springer. It's up. It's no good. Rebound. Kingery. Oh! Springer with a needless foul there. A bad idea. So that might have been a frustration foul on Springer. And we're going to check with Zach. I believe that's her second or third. Third. Throwing for three. Okay. So Springer went from just having one foul at the half to two quick ones immediately here to be in the second half. And that might have been just a frustration foul because really no need for her to grab it. Twenty-seven sixteen. Shot is up, no good. Out of bounds, that was crud on the spin. Six oh nine to go here in the third quarter. Summerfield with it. Across the timeline goes Marissa Summerfield, looking over that defense. Summerfield to Bondar. Bondar, far side, back to Summerfield, top of the key. To Polinko, back to Summerfield for three. Good shot. Bang, Bang there. Drainage. She sinks it, nothing but the bottom of the net there, as it was a beautiful catch and shoot by Summerfield. 27-19. Ava Link has cut into this halftime lead by three already. Here's Paul Siskel for three. Up, no good. Rare shot there by Peyton. Rebound by Miller. And now the Shore Girls have a chance <coughs> at a run. Here's Summerfield for another three. That would have been huge if she would have sunk it. Rebound, Miller kicks it out, hits the deck. It's a travel. No. Is it a foul? No, nope, it's a timeout on Apple. All right. Avon Lake timeout. We'll be back. We're back. To start it off, Borland underneath, it's good! And they're gonna say that a timeout was called earlier before that turnover. All right, so here's Paul Cisco, 27, 21, six straight points for the Shore Gals as they come out of that timeout and scored right away. A 6 0 run by Avon Lake. We have ourselves a ball game. 27, 21, up top to Kingery. Kingery inside to Kevin, no, knocked away. It's Miller, finds Summerfield. Avon Lake on this run. Borland for three. Drainage! Now a 9 0 run by the Shore Girls. As they have come out smoking in the second half. 27 24. CC Bowman getting ready to check in. Baldera's inside the Kingery. Back top of the key, however, she is. And North Ridgeville needs a spark. Here's Kingery for three. That could have been big. No good. Rebound, Baldera's. No, stripped away. Into a jump ball. Possession arrow, Shore Gals. And now they have a chance to tie the game here on this drive. As Baldera is clutching her knee there, might have got banged up. Eldridge will check back in. And Reyna's going to kind of, she'll come off. Okay, so North Ridgeville back on defense here. 27 24, 4 22 to go. All right, Avon League, 27-24. What a run by the Shore Gals. Nine straight to cut the dozen down to three. Borland to Polinko. Polinko on the drive, slams in to Bowman. What's the call, though? What's the call? I see people retreating, so that's a charge. Yep. Polinko called for the charge. Man, that would have been huge for Avon Lake. Down three, that could have possibly tied the game, that possession. All right. And I'll tell you what, fans, that calls 50-50 anytime you see it. Underneath the hoop, that close, just, just pick your poison, whatever you want to call. All right, 27-24, four minutes to go. Here's Kingery, good high pick there by Bowman. Needs to stand her feet, though. Here's Kingery, behind the back. Now dribbles it in, it's good. Beautiful shot. And again, I'll say it again. That's the kind of D1 talent that separates other kids from D2, quite frankly. All right, here we go. Summerfield, top of the key, near side to us. Now she goes far side between the legs, back our way, now towards the middle. Here's Summerfield, it's up, no good, but she drew the foul.
Player Springer will be checking in here as Summerfield goes to the line for two. Marissa off with it, first shot is in. And as I said earlier, this game was a lot closer than that 12 point differential we saw a bit earlier. And now these teams showing you why. Vince McKee with you, KeyOnSports.com. We need sponsors. Again, fans trying to avoid those paywalls. Coach Finn, 14, Yahoo.com. Summerfield, second shot, no good. Back iron, rebound, back to Summerfield. And now, 29, here's Miller, and I think this not a four-point game. For some reason, I thought they screwed up the scoreboard, but they didn't. All right, four-point game. Kingery with it. Yeah, Kingery had that layup that extended the lead. Oh, with it, no good. Bowman, out of bounds. As she slammed in to Tobin. No, Ritt, 23, Jane Ritt. Right, a couple things going on right now here on the sidelines. Just got to pay attention to the game. All right, here's Summerfield. Marissa has it. Between the legs. Good job by Pell. Cisco all over. Rebound, though, by, ripped away by Springer. Inside, wide open. Miller. It's good. Good shot there by Miller. 29, 27, 257 to go. Here's Pell Cisco with Baldera Zal. Pell Cisco might need to go the distance at this point. Brook Lime inside to Kravda. Good job by Cat. No good. Rebound Springer, and now the Sorgals have a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Here's Summerfield, Avon Lake. Oh, I thought Ritt was going to chuck it up for three. Over to Summerfield. Now she gets it to Ritt for the lead. Good. No good. Rebound by Miller. Man, that shot was right on line. Here's Summerfield. Good looking shot there by Jane Ritt. All right. Coach Paul Apple slowing it down right now. Avon Lake needs this possession in the worst kind of way. Down by two. Has a chance at a major momentum swing now. Here comes Summerfield. Kicks it back out to Ritt. Ritt's going to drive. Oh, there goes Ritt. No good. Rebound Kingery. All right. Back comes Kingery on the fast break to Lime. That's two huge points for the Rangers. They did that one badly. 31-27. Ritt. Near side to us, top of the key is Summerfield. Summerfield swings it wide to Bondar. Here's Bondar back to Summerfield. Shorgales down four, late third quarter. Over to Springer for three. Good! You don't expect to see that too often. It's actually a two. As her foot was inside that line. Two pointer by Springer. 29 27, 128 to go. Vince McKee with you, Keon Sports. I believe a timeout has been called. It has. We'll be right back. You're listening to Keon Sports. We're back. 31, 29, 125 to go. North Ridge will have the ball here. Thibodeau into Kingery. Avon Lake has sliced a 12-point lead at halftime down to two with a tremendous third quarter. Here's Gabby Thibodeau inside to cut a smash fast. No good. Down goes Bowman. That's a travel. And CC Bowman has to stay on her feet. A couple times today she's just got the ball and went right down to the ground. That's going to be a travel. 31 29, 111 to go. Play go with it. Over to Miller. Swings it over to Tobin. Tobin, right side there. Good shot from the elbow to tie the game. No good. Rebound knocked around. Lime should chase it out for the Rangers. She does, but she's trapped. Can't call another time out here. Jump ball. And it will stay with the Rangers, but I'll tell you what, Avon Lake really on the brink right now of getting over the hump to take a lead in this game. All right, here we go now. Brooke Lyon, she'll run the point for a little bit here with Pal Cisco, Eldridge, and Valdera's on the bench. Lyon has to run the point. Tip it over for three! And that's big. Gabby's got to hit those. 34-29. Gabby Thibodeau has to step up right now and just did. Miller going to drive. She kicks it to Polinko. Polinko to Bondar. Nope. They're going to hold it and reset up shop here with Tobin. Back to Springer for three. Looking for her second of the quarter. Couldn't get it to fall. Loose ball scamper. If this is a jump ball, it's going to go to Avon Lake. And it is. So now the jump ball will keep the possession with Avon Lake. Checking back in is Peyton Pelicisco. Got to send somebody out here. And Brooke Lyon will come out. Okay. 
So Brooke Ryan checks out a little banged up there, and now looks like Miller just got something flicked in her eye or something. That's a foul regardless. And a weird exchange just now. All right, here's Schultz checking in. And Bowman comes out. All right, 34, 29, 7.8. And if you're North Ridgeville, you can ill afford a silly foul here in this last seven seconds. He's had to play good defense. Here's Tobin behind the back for three. Oh, oh nothing you do about that. Somebody go get a ladder. It will be the ball stuck. And the referee feels like showing off, and he does. There you go. He knocks it away. And that referee is driving home with the hood down and a smile on his face after that move. All right, 34 29. Three to go. North Ridgeville seems to go full court on this shot to get anything off. Here's Kinger. Gets held by Palenko. No call from half court. Short. All right. We got a fun one tonight. Fourth quarter awaits. You're listening to Keon Sports. You're listening to KeonSports.com. I am Vince McKee alongside Maggie McKee as we are in beautiful North Ridgeville, Ohio for the fourth quarter of this game. Avon Lake was down by 12 at halftime. Sliced seven off the lead and now a five point game to start the fourth quarter. But this outswarm again by seven, they win. Here's Avon Lake inside the Summerfield, draws the foul, and Summerfield will be going to the line for two. Foul there on Pell Cisco. First shot is up and good for Summerfield. Now 34 30, 748 to go. Here's Summerfield, it's up, it's good. Marissa Summerfield makes them both. And now just a three point one possession game again. Avon Lake got really close to taking the lead in that quarter, just couldn't get over that hump. But my goodness, did they make it close. Knocked out of bounds there on Eldridge off of Shortgale. So the ball will now stay with the Rangers. All right, Krebda now and Kingery both make a break at the same time. Inside to Krebda, nice and easy, no good. And she just cannot find the touch tonight underneath. All right, here's Summerfield, 34, 31, seven and a half to go. Summerfield between the legs, looks over the defense. Has Pell Cisco about two feet away. Good pick there by Bondar, but couldn't get Summerfield free. Another high screen by Springer. There's a three by Summerfield. He's starting to fill it a little bit, but no good. Here's Brooke Lime. Lime dribbles it in. Shot no good. And now Polinko, they got numbers here if they want them. Over to Summerfield. Summerfield on the drive. Nice move back to Polinko. Polinko up with it. It's no good. Rebound Springer. Back to Borland. Borland for three. No good. Rebound. Shorgals. Bondar over to Polinko. Almost chucked that one to the cheap seats. Good job there by Izzy to chase that down. Checking back in for the Rangers will be Walderas and Bowman at the next dead ball. Here's Courtney Borland. Borland over to Summerfield. Summerfield one of the three to try to tie it. Here's Bondar. No. Avon Lake really taking their time. But we set up shop again. Here we go. Here's Polinko. Polinko over to Borland. Avon Lake within three. Here's Polinko now. Maddie on Polinko. Good blow by there by Polinko. Over to Springer. Back to Borland. Courtney Borland has it. Inside goes Courtney. Good defense there by the Rangers. Knocked out of bounds on the shot. But definitely made it di difficult for her because Borland had a nice angle coming in. All right, Krebda coming off, as is Pell Cisco. Baldirez must be okay as she checks back in, working with that knee. Here's Polinko, backs up, then comes in. Shot off the backboard, no good. Now it will go back to the Rangers. Vince McKee with you at KeonSports.com. Six minutes to go. 34-31. Here's Balderas with it. Thibodeau getting ready to check back in for the Rangers now. Here is Eldridge. Maddie Eldridge, top of the key, looking over that defense. Over to Balderas. Balderas on the cross, back to Lyme. Rangers playing with the three-point lead here in the fourth. Lyme on the drive. No good. Rebound. Borland. Over to Polinko. 5.38 to go. Here comes Summerfield. Near side to us. Marissa Summerfield. Top to Polinko. Bondar. Backs in a little bit, back to Springer. Still a three-point game. 
Avon Lake has Borland wide open and they find her. She hesitates, now spins, good. And Courtney Borland is one to watch on this Avon Lake team. As I'll tell you what folks, she's gotten wide open a couple times in this quarter. Avon Lake has cut four off the lead in this quarter alone. Here's Kingery, it's up, no good, rebound Kingery. It's up, no good, rebound Kingery. It's up, foul. A tight game now, one point separates the two teams, 5.02 to go. Grace, Grace Kingery to the line, 34-33, 5.02 here in the fourth. Avon Lake has knocked a 12 point lead down to one. Krebda getting ready to check back in. Shot is up, it is good. Krebda, Thibodeau back in. Out comes Springer for the Shore Gals. Out comes Bowman for the Rangers and Eldridge for the Rangers. 35, 33, 502. And again, folks, time after time so far, Avon Lake has drawn into that two points and just cannot get that three ball off. There's Kingery, it's good. All right, there it is though. 36, 33. Three point game once again. Here's Bondar. Bondar of the Shore Gills. Debris Jones back to Summerfield. Summerfield looking over that defense. Marissa Summerfield. She has it. She's going to drive and kick. She does. A little late though to Plinko. Plinko near side to us. Back to Miller. Over to Plinko. Two hand dribble there by Plinko. Shot is up, no good. And she got lucky it wasn't a travel. That's a jump ball though, as Krevda got tied up on the rebound. Brooke back out there. And Balderas, 36-33, 4.29 to go. All right, Balderas, Avon Lake. This would be a huge road win if they could pull off this comeback. Checking back in at the break. The next break will be Paul Cisco. Here's Balderas for three. Go! And that knee's feeling mighty nice now. 39 33 on the drainage. 4 11 to go. All right, near side us, Borland. Borland on the drive. It's up. Stuff Subiotic Renda. Rebound, Balderas. 39 33. Rangers with numbers. They need a run and they need it now. Here's Thibodeau for three. No good. Rebound, Kingery. Knocked out of bounds. What's the call? Sure, gals. Interesting. That one was tough to see. I wouldn't have to make that call. All right, 39-33. Vince McKee with you, Keon Sports. Brooke Lime checking out. A little offense-defense sub going on right now for the Rangers. This is interesting. Still 351 to go. All right, 351 to go in this one. Constant subbing lately out of North Ridgeville. Not real sure here. All right, 39-33, 341. Here's Summerfield. Time out. Okay. We'll be right back. You're listening to Vince McKee and Maggie McKee with KeonSports.com. We're back here. Avon Lake with the ball down six, 338 to go. Summerfield on the drive now. As Pell Cisco on her. Good rebound. Excuse me. Good pick. High there by Bondar. Now back to Bondar for three to cut it in half. No good. And Kingery with the rebound. Tries to save it. She can't. And Summerfield takes it over. Miller back to Summerfield. Travel on Miller. Or double dribble. Double dribble on Miller. 3.16 to go. And now every possession here on out is going to be very, very important. Cisco. 308. Brooke to check back in in a second. Here's Krevda. Krevda to Thibodeau. Thibodeau looking over that defense. Switches hands. Now finds Pelsisco. And Pelsisco will run it out to reset the clock. Here's Summerfield on a reach. Might have got away with a no foul there. All right, here's Valderez. Valderez now as North Ridgeville taking their time on this possession. Here's Kingery on the drive. Good spin move by Grace. It's good. And Grace Kingery has willed this team to victory tonight. Well, not victory yet. But willed this team to the lead. 19 points for Kingery. 41-38. North Ridgeville has brought this lead back out to eight. Travel again. This time on Bondar. As they were trying to work that around the top of the key. And she just might have lost sight of concentration for a split second. And that's all it took. Another sub timeout called. Essa with the full, and we will take a break. 
225 to go. Fourth quarter, 41, 33. All right, here we are back in action, 41-38. Little over two minutes to go as this game winds down. Rangers back up by eight. As Avon Lake cut it all the way down to one at one point. Plus Cisco over to Brooke. Here's Brooke trying to drive in now. 2.02 left. Back over to Brooke. Oh! Stolen away by Summerfield and she did a balance and had to stay in bounds. Here's Borland. Ah, short girls needed that. Eight point lead. And some of the stuff the fans yell behind me is just ridiculous. All right, here's Grace Kingery. 41 33. Foul here. All right, now they're going to call foul on Polinko. All right. 41, 33, 142 to go. Kingery looking over the defense. Finds Paul Cisco. And she's getting triple teamed. Breaks it. Now they're gonna have huge numbers after they break it, and they do. And Kingery, double digit lead. And an interesting thing out of that inbounds play as three shore gals went to try to track down Paul Cisco and then left Kingery wide open on the end of the court. Back out to 10 after all of that. Avon Lake had a shot in this one. They really did. Turnover again, and now Avon Lake is kind of withering away here at the end. But man, what a game! A lot closer than double digits. Trying to foul Kingery, they can't. And here's Kingery again. It's up, no good. Rebound, Avon Lake. A minute to go, double digits. North Ridgeville cannot afford the foul here. Let that clock run if you're the Rangers. Here's Hickoff inside the Springer. That's the two points they needed. Which will lead to the timeout and probably a full court press out of this timeout. I'd assume we will see. All right, 43, 34. I want to mention again, fans, we are trying to avoid uh, charging readers for content, for paywalls, and everything else. The only way we can do that is with sponsorship dollars. So we're going to need you to sponsor us. Do not have a single sponsor from Avon Lake or North Ridgeville. That's a crime, folks. It's a crime. Email me, Vince McKee, CoachVin14 at Yahoo.com. Let's right this terrible wrong. We'll be back. All right, fans, 50 seconds to go. Rangers trying to hold on an eight-point lead, and there's the turnover the Shore Gals needed. They got it. So North Ridgeville comes in off a timeout and turns it right over. Off the full court. So Avon Lake got exactly what they wanted. Two points, timeout, full court press, turnover. Couldn't have went any better for the Shore Gals. Still in this one. Here's Summerfield. They're going to need punches and bunches, though. It's good. Do they do it again? Now six. Now six in the full court press. And another turnover. I'll tell you, we might be headed to Reggie Miller land pretty soon. There's the jump ball. And it's back to the shore gals. Unbelievable. 32.7. Fans, tune in because this, I'll tell you what, is setting up. Aldridge back in for Balderas. And if Avon Lake could drain the three here, watch out. Down by six, this game a long way from over now. Turnover, no, nope. Borland wrinkles it in. They're gonna get two more points. There's Miller, no good. Oh, they needed that. Rebound, tied up. Now this jump ball will go to the Rangers, and it does. Yikes. And this game should not be this close right now. Shoregales, my goodness. Making it real interesting. Down 10 a few seconds ago. That is hard to fight these jokes. We'll be back. Uh, six point lead, 25 seconds to go. Credit to the Shore Gals, though, for making this unbelievably close down the stretch. One timeout left. Brooke Lyme on an inbound. Can they get it in? Valderas is wide open and has it. Almost turns it back over to Lime though. Grace Kingery wide open deep, and they wind up following Lime. All right, this should do it. 19.3, six point lead for the Rangers. This game way, way closer than the scoreboard will uh, even begin to show you. Here's Lime, she's got Pelsisco, finds her. Summerfield will find Peyton, fouls Peyton. 17.3. As Payne Pelicisco connects on that first half of the one-on-one, -on -one, 41 and one, 44-37, as the Shore Gals in the bonus. 
Second shot is up, no good by Pelsisco. Rebounded by the Sorgels as they look to wind up this clock. Here's Polinko. Rangers cannot foul. Polinko on the drive, it's up, it's good. 44-39, 7.8. We'll take this final timeout. And it's Pelsisco back to the line off the inbound. Shot is up, no good. Six seconds remain. Here's Summerfield. Over to Borland for three, no good. That will do it. Your final score, 44-39, North Ridgeville wins.